Hi, man, Drew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. We're going to be opening this because I've been sent some it late. But just a quick update if you're waiting on RetroNet, I can confirm parts are starting to come in. So we've got some main ICs and PCBs on the way. So I'm just going to open this rather nicely packed bag. It's, it's basically, imagine you've got a bubble wrap and you just wrapped a bubble wrap around the item and that's the packing. I quite like that approach. I should certainly try it myself and it's, I know what it is. I can tell you what it is. It's no surprise. It's some Sinclair Spectrum games. I'm being a bit cautious because I think they're in quite a snazzy looking box there. You don't want to damage a retro can tape container but something I've been working on at the moment as well as the guys on the discord is a new project to take your Odroid Go and let the Odroid via one of my DAC hats output tape waveforms cassette tape waveforms so it can basically emulate any data recorder you might have and, and process any tape format so that you can run it on your, you know, your MSX or your Commodore 64, VIC-20, whatever you've got, really, and have a nice interface on the Odroid unit itself. So that's going to be snazzy. Right. Okay. So there we have it. It's, it's quite a, a funky pattern, a bit dusty. Give it a little wipe down. It's got the old um, insect type poop or whatever it is. I never really know what that is, but those weird things you get. So, missing handle, but how do we get in? Ah, there we go, push that through. Da, 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 da. So we've got a bunch of tapes here. Let's see what we got. Just organize them a little bit. So you have a few here, which might be in these cases, the dual cases, but without their big box. So the best of elite Volume 1, which is Bomb Jack, Frank Bruno's Boxing, Commando and Airwolf. And then Eliminator by Yusen. Eliminator. Combat School, with a free action demo of Konami's hit game, Grizor, included in this pack. So that's pretty cool. I don't think what Grizor was called. That's like Probotector and... Uh, I can't remember. Contra. Paperboy. Ghosts and Goblins, Battleships and Bomb Jack 2. And of course, Bob Holness in Blockbuster. Do, 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 do. I think that it's amazing when you look at these just to see how, you know, they were they tried to keep up with those arcade classics and they really were doing a lot of, um, you know, pushing, pushing the boundaries of what all these hardware can do compared to the arcade machines. Classic Arcadia plus Muncher plus Axions for the Spectrum, Axions. This box is pretty empty. It's pretty cool though, because I do have some other Spectrum tapes so we could fill it in there. Illuminator. So that's one of the ones we had the paper sleeve for. Super Cycle. And it said Gord there. Thanks, Gordon. Gordon sent the box. There's our Blockbusters tape. What I could do is transfer all of these. Oh yes, Gauntlet. Now we'll definitely be trying Gauntlet at some future video. I uh, recently at play Blackpool played Gauntlet, for, you know, in, in a sort of serious way, and it was great. Action pack, but oh, look, Boots by Boots the Chemist. I don't even remember when Boots sold software really. Olympic Spectacular. 11 field and track events. The 199 range. The best of elite. So that's the one of Commando and Airwolf, etc. Ooh, Green Beret. That was quite good on the old NES. I don't remember the uh, Spectrum version. Just looking at the back though, oh, screenshots taken from various computer formats. Nearly always from the best computer formats, weren't they? Ian Botham, what's that one? Ian Botham. Test match. 
by Tynesoft. Oh, but then the box is white heat, so we've got a mix up there. I'm going to put that on the top in case we find the uh, other thing. Is it white heat? I don't see white heat. Oh, oh well, dear. Well, I suppose that should just have to live in there now forever. But I do remember, like, look at these tape things. I remember them sort of going a bit awry like that if you got it all wrong. Do you remember buying tapes back in the day? I mean, I didn't really have a tape player till much later for the beep because I had floppies. So I didn't really have the, a need for tapes. But I do remember picking one up or someone giving me one of them when they were chucking out their beep or electron. And... Um, and I went to the news agent and then bought up loads of tapes because it was just the beep was on its way out then. So all the beep tapes were next to nothing. Daily Thompson's decathlon. Look at him there looking dynamic. What's interesting to know as well is that there wasn't, I think there wasn't a tape culture in the US or something like that. So it's, it's kind of like a, a European thing, some of these phenomena. Phenom Molecule Man Isometric Action by Mastertronic Molecule Man. These are games I've never heard of. I mean, I've heard of you know, Daily Thompson's Decathlon and Green Beret, but not Molecule Man. 180! I think on the Commodore 64 I played that, and it had that as a sampled sound. Another Mastertronic, £1.99 from Boots. Formula One Simulator. Mm. Oh, look at those graphics, though. That's some serious Formula One action going on in there. Oh, Alien Destroyer. That sounds pretty darn cool. Not so much the uh, artwork on the box. I suspect it's a bad Space Invaders clone. Not for resale. Alien Destroyer and Kuma, Sof uh, Kuma Software. They're just too low to in there. It says not for resale, though. And this is Sinclair Quality Card. What does that mean? Not for resale. Does that mean it's a, a box in, a pack in title? Punchy! Now, is Punchy the one that has the sampled sound, like a sampled laugh when you die? Was that Mr. Punch? Treasure Island. Not for resale. Wow. And I'm guessing there's a period where this stuff, you know, are these tapes actual Sinclair tapes or are they uh, when it was Amstrad? That would be interesting to know. Speed King 2. Crazy Golf. I mean, this range, you see them all the time. I think I've got them elsewhere. So I'm pretty sure that they must have uh, been, came, you know, came with the machine itself. But look, Crazy Golf, Golf, golf the Oh Mummy, an Oh Mummy that looks really good on the CPC compared to this one. And Diarrhea Dan. Sorry, I mean Disco Dan. It's in there, Disco Dan. Just, just checking while I'm here. Let's see, Crazy Golf, yes. Oh, Oh Mummy. And then Snooker. It's not even a, uh, you know, a license thing. It's just snooker. Generic, generic snooker. So that's my box of tapes. And I'm going to be looking forward to filling the box. I think I've only got really space for two, though. <laughs> not to do with those. But um, if you... Um, if you know anything about these tapes, or you know a place where I can maybe print on my uh, colour laser printer, new inlay cards. I'd probably be interested in just getting all the inlay cards for these, you know, sort of reunited with some. And I don't know what these uh, came in. So did these were these originally plastic boxes, like a big plastic box, or was it a cardboard box? Let me know on that one too. So go and play some Spectrum games yourself, and we'll meet back here tomorrow. As ever, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.